welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I'm going to be showing you how to put a bunch of things like belts, vests and the oxygen tank onto other tops without doing the transfer glitch. If you enjoy the video then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel just in case you haven't done so already. Don't forget to join the Militated Discord server where you can view and share your outfits with the community, the invite link is down below. You can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated but apart from that we are pretty much ready to get onto the video. Again, this does not require the transfer glitch, so you get to keep all of your saved outfits. The first thing I want to go through are the types of tops that you're able to use. The top that you pick must be compatible with the sand plate carrier. If it cannot have the sand plate carrier on it, then you cannot use that top. Thankfully, Rockstar have allowed us to put the plate carriers onto many different tops since the Cayo Perico update. I'm just going to go through a few of those now just to give you an idea of what you have available to you. For example, you're able to use most of the utility tops, apart from some at the bottom, which are the old ones. The hoodies in the sports top category can also be used. The polo shirts are also an option, which will probably go well with some belts, and of course you can use things like tank tops and regular t-shirts. Some of the sweaters, such as the combat sweaters, allow the plate carrier, as well as the designer hoodies and some of the regular hoodies. Not to state the obvious, but you can also use things like the tucked service shirts, which I am already wearing, but just keep in mind that they have to be the long sleeve versions and not the short sleeve ones. Not too sure why, but the short sleeve ones remove the plate carrier. Of course you can use the regular untucked service shirts as well, but again, you can't use the short sleeve ones. Those are pretty much all of the noteworthy ones that I can think of in the top section, but I'm sure I have missed a few as well. Like I said before, you're also free to go and use basic things like regular t-shirts and tank tops. One of the more interesting tops that you can use are the ones from the Gorka suits, but equipping the vest on the Gorka suit will remove the pants, unfortunately. I did recently make a video on how to keep the pants with the vest, but that involves the transfer glitch. And lastly, it may also be worth noting that you can use the hoodies from the Diamond Casino Heist, including the Gorka style ones. Okay, so to do the glitch, we're going to go into the top section and pick the top that we want to use. Again, it has to be compatible with the sand plate carrier. For those of you that skipped ahead, I've just shown all the options that you can use. For the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to use the white service shirt that I had on before, and then I'm going to go and put on the sand plate carrier from the utility vest category. I also recommend that you go and pick the pants that you want beforehand. If you're going to put something like a belt from one of the Diamond Casino Heist outfits, then you can't change the pants later on, which is why I'm telling you to do them now. Anyway, so once you have your desired top with the plate carrier and your pants, you're then going to go and save this into outfit slot 1, and we're going to call this one Merge. Just make sure it is in slot 1 and not a different one. But then I'm going to go back and go into the heist coveralls category and we're going to purchase any of the four from the bottom of the list that have the chemical mask. It doesn't matter which one it is, but once we have that equipped, we're then going to leave the clothing store and head down to the telescopes at Del Peru Pier. Now just sprint towards the telescope at an angle and press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. If done correctly, you should just stand there with no mask. We're now going to open up the interaction menu, go to style, and we're going to equip the outfit called Merge. The chemical mask will then appear onto the outfit when you walk away from the telescope. Now that we have that on the outfit with the plate carrier, we're going to go and head down to an ammunition. In the outfit section, we're going to go and make sure that we save this once again into outfit slot 1. After it's been saved, we're then going to back out of there and reopen the interaction menu. This time we're going to go into style and equip a random saved outfit, and then switch back to the outfit that we just saved called merge. If the chemical mask doesn't show up the first time, then just equip the outfit again and it should show up then. At this point, we're then going to press back and go down to spawn location, and we're going to make sure that it's set to last location. Okay, so we're now ready to move on to the next part, so we're going to close the interaction menu and press the start button. Now go over to online, go to jobs, play job, rockstar created, go down to missions, and we're going to start up a titan of a job. This is then going to load up the mission settings screen a few seconds later, and all we need to do is go down to confirm settings and then press play. Thankfully, you can launch this on your own. This is then either going to load you inside or outside of the ammunition. You should still be wearing the chemical mask with no plate carrier. Now if you spawn in with a scruffy balaclava instead and a plate carrier, then you need to restart your GTA. After restarting it, just go to the timestamp indicated on screen and continue on from there. Okay, we're now going to go into the outfit section of the store and we're going to resave this into outfit slot 1. After saving it, we're then going to back out of outfits and instead open up the phone to quit the job from there. This is then going to load you down into an online session and we're going to head back into the ammunition. Just as a side note, now that we're back in the online session, do not save the outfit again. Instead, we're now free to go and pick whatever we want to put onto the outfit. So just to remind you, this includes any of the belts from the Diamond Casino Heist outfits and also the police belt if you happen to have the police outfit. 
If you're going to put the police belt on this outfit though, then please make sure that you read the pinned comment down below before attempting that. For reference, the outfits that have the belts in the Diamond Casino Heist category are the Prison Guard, Maintenance and the Group 6 gear. You can also get the vest from the Refuse Collectors, but again, like the police belt, please make sure that you read the pinned comment before you use this. You can also get the tank and mask from the firefighter gear. Like I said before though, another option that you have is to go and pick any of the utility vests in the utility vest category. As I know I'm already going to get asked, no this does not work with the CEO vest. Anyway, once you have picked your desired belt, vest or tank, we're then ready to move on. I'm going to be using the tank for this example, but I will show you a belt later on as well. Also, just make sure that you own an earpiece from the gear section in the middle of the ammunition, but do not equip it. The next step is to then press the start button and go back over to the online tab. Once again, we're going to go into jobs, play job, rockstar created, but this time we're going to go into verses and start up the mission called Crooked Cop. As expected, this is then going to load up the mission settings screen a few seconds later. All we need to do here is make sure that the clothing is set to player owned, that is very important so please do not forget to do that. Then just confirm the settings and invite someone. Now you can use auto invite like I did to get a random, or you can invite a friend if you happen to have one online. Alternatively, you can join the Militated Discord server where you can find someone to help you there, the invite link is down below. Okay, so once someone has joined and you have launched the job, you'll then be brought to the outfit selection screen. We're now going to go down to owned outfit and press right once to equip the outfit in slot 1, which is called merge. As you can see, I now have the tank on the outfit. Of course, if you picked a belt or utility vest instead, then you would have that. Now just press ready and wait for the mission to start. In the mission, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and press left once on where it says gear to equip an earpiece. We can then bring up the phone and quit the job from there. We'll then spawn into an online session wearing the outfit that we just made in Crooked Cop. You're now free to go down to a clothing store and either save it immediately or you can go and customise it to however you want. I do recommend saving it first though. Just keep in mind that you won't be able to change your top as that will remove the tank, belt or vest. Again, if you're using one of the belts from the Diamond Casino outfits, then you won't be able to change the pants either. That's why we picked the pants earlier. Okay, so I'm now going to equip an outfit with a belt and very quickly show you again. Once you have the belt, vest or tank that you want to transfer, we're just going to go and start up Crooked Cop the exact same way as we did before and just make sure that the clothing is set to player owned. At the outfit selection screen, go down to owned outfit and press right once to equip the outfit called Merge. Now that we have the belt on the outfit, we're going to equip the earpiece from the interaction menu and then quit the job from the phone. You can then go and save this in a clothing store or customise it how you want to. As I've said many times though, if you're using a belt then you can't change the top or the pants. If you're using a vest or a tank then you can change the pants. If you want your tank, vest or belt on a different top or pants, then simply just go and restart the video again and repeat the glitch. Of course, just make sure that the top that you pick is compatible with the sand plate carrier like I said at the start of the video. Just in case it wasn't quite clear, if you want to put any utility vest onto the top, then you simply just go and equip the utility vest that you want. Once you've picked your desired utility vest, you then just go and start up Crooked Cop like we have done before and just equip the merge outfit. One last thing before we finish up, some utility vests have a very low profile so there will be clipping on some tops. For example, the fishing vests work best on low profile tops like t-shirts. But that is pretty much all I have for you so thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel just in case you haven't done so already. Don't forget to join the Militated Discord server where you can view and share your outfits with the community, the invite link is down below. You can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated. Thanks once again for watching and I hope to see you in the next GTA Online video.